right now we get some background on one of the most interesting characters in Australian rallying. I want to be world rally champion. Michael Guest came to Ford highly credentialed, having been one of only a handful of drivers to ever make it to the World Rally Championship. After much success in the late 90s racing Group N in Australia and New Zealand, he managed to find a drive on the world circuit. And in 2000 moved into a Group A vehicle that was still very much in development. At that time the Hyundai World Car wasn't a great car as far as world cars went, you know, Peugeot was the dominant vehicle and Subaru were doing really well, so, so um, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was another one of those baptisms of fire, but, but um, you know, I really enjoyed being part of that whole psyche and, and I learned a lot about the testing and working with engineers, which is paying off now. After some time away from the sport, last year he re-entered the ARC, along with Ford, as their sole driver. Some question how fast he could be after such a lengthy break. And certainly a two-wheel drive car with no power steering was always going to struggle. But he rose to the challenge and with all the problems that occurred, admitted it was character building. That's a f diff again. But through Pertec's support, the team has found a new lease on life at its new Brightec home. Ford, although they were in rallying, it was 25 years ago, so you can basically say in this country, they certainly didn't know a lot about rallying and it was, it, it was a hard road to, uh, to, uh, to move through that and um, I think the program itself, this Ford Rally program, probably got a bit too big for Ford internally as far as they didn't have the resources internally and, and we needed a big race team so, um, and um, Jason set up here was ideal for that. Yes, yeah. is a complex creature. When not behind the wheel of a rally car, he slips behind the wheel of a boat heading off around the coast to film scenes for instructional fishing DVDs. One thing to be really, really cautious of, if you can hear there, both these engines are running at the moment. The back of this structure here, the current's coming downhill, we're quite safe where we are now, but the surge, the surge of the waves will soon throw you up on the rocks. One of his favourite fishing partners is V8 supercar driver and his new team boss, Jason Bright. Throwing a rod in is supposed to be relaxing, but when he's around other drivers, he can't help but become competitive. What's happening there, mate? I don't know. You having a go? Are we recording it? Eh? <laughs> I've been too busy talking, actually. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Got all these boats around us here, all these guys. So, Jace tells me we're in the right spot. There's one here, one over there, three other boats behind us. And what else, Snapper? Yeah, there's some Snapper in there. Eh? Yeah. That you've heard or you've actually caught them in there? <laughs> no, that I've heard. I <laughs> can't hey, be honest here. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Just three rallies in and his new car is now allowing him to start becoming competitive on track as well. It's shown incredible pace, considering both the team and car are in their first year on the ARC. And Guest is genuinely excited about driving an all-wheel drive Super 2000 car. His best result this year has been a second fastest on stage and was within a second of the ARC's benchmark driver, Simon Evans. One stage there was 20k long and we were 0.9 off him over 20 kilometres and I think we were 12 and quicker than Neil and 15 or 17 quicker than Dean. So definitely it, it, the car is capable of it when you get, it, when, uh, when you get everything right and, and uh, that it's definitely, I need that confidence to, to live on as a driver to say, hey, look, we, we can do this. And, and, um, and uh, look, I, I think um, this break that we've had, that we're having at the moment, is going to all go well. I loved it. That's why I go rallying. 